Hi friends, Denise here from Happy Oat Home. It's been a long time since we've talked. So I just wanted to pop on, tell you how I'm doing, say hi, check in with you all and let you know that I'm doing okay. Thank you all so much for reaching out. I had so many people reach out to me, ask how I've been doing over the last couple months via so many different avenues. And I appreciate it all so, so much, more than you know. I really, really do. I haven't posted a video in probably over two months now. It's been a while. Um, and you know, in the last video, I. You know, I was very honest. I told you how like January and February are like my worst months. I don't know if many of you feel like that, but it's just so dark, so dreary, cold, rainy, and just overall super depressing. And with everything that I've been experiencing in my personal life, I just did not have the wherewithal to get on here and do any videos and I am sorry about that. I am, but I, I really appreciate your support so much and I want to do better. I do. And, um, but I also want to bring you like meaningful content and, you know, I am in a new place as I showed you. I am in a rental and, you know, I'm limited in things that I can do. Yes, I can do, you know, a little bit of decorating, but, you know, bigger things that I really want to do, I'm very limited in what I can do. And I will tell you, I am really wanting to get into a big project. I don't know what that is yet. And when I do, I promise you guys will be the first to know. Um, but I have been looking around and thinking about my next move, what I want that to be, because, you know, after the summer, you know, I only have a one year lease here and I need to decide what I want to do next. So I have a lot of ideas rolling around in my head, some that I have looked further into, others that I am still thinking about. And when I do make a big move, um, I promise I will have more home videos to share. So I hope you will stay with me through that um, because I, you know, my number one passion is, you know, home and home decor and home projects. I still love it so much. And I just am you know, just feeling like, you know, a little confined and a little lost here in um, this rental that I'm in. And I, I don't know, there's, I feel like there's only so far that I can go with it, that I'm, I'm comfortable doing and sharing. So with that being said, I am doing okay. I'm feeling so much better. Um, now that, you know, March has rolled around and it's been a few months since I've moved in here and I've just settled down, I've just taken the last couple of months just to reflect and think about everything that's happened and just try to get my head in a space where I'm comfortable and I can move on into the next phase of my life. So I've been doing that. I've been focusing on that. I see my friends a lot. Um, so that has been very helpful and supportive. I enjoy them all very much. They've been incredible. And yeah, so I guess that's kind of mostly what I wanted to say. Just wanted to pop on and tell you all that I am doing better. And of course, this beautiful weather, I'm sure has something to do with it. Not sure it was coincidental that my mood just got so much better you know, when the days got longer and the sun was out more and, you know, I hear the birds chirping and the little buds on the trees and now our cherry blossoms are blooming and, you know, spring just brings about growth. 
Uh, when I think of spring, that's what I think about. I think about new and com new coming out, um, change of the seasons, you know, everything starts to, to flourish. And I think I'm kind of feeling that way too. So spring is almost here. Well, spring is here probably when this video gets posted, spring will officially be here. So excited about that. And I do have, um, you know, I, I told you all how much I love fashion and I feel, you know, like when we dress ourselves, it's just like we decorate our homes and we want to dress and we want to feel good about ourselves, just like our home. When we create a beautiful home, it's a beautiful place for ourselves and our family, a feeling of peace, a place where you can relax and just a place that brings you joy. And I feel the same about ourselves when we dress up. We want to feel really good about how we feel in our clothes and how we present ourselves. And when we go out, we want to feel confident and we want to feel alive and we just want to feel good. And certain clothes can make you feel good. Certain clothes, you know, not so good, just kind of ordinary or frumpy or, you know, just meh, you know, nothing, nothing great. So I do want to share, and I hope some of you are interested in this. I do want to share some jeans um, that I have recently purchased that I think are very on trend. Um, some of them are a little bit older styles, like the, the uh, you know, the bell bottoms more, you know, like a flared bottom. Um, those have been around for a while, but there are other trends that I wanted to share with you all. And specifically, you know, as we get older, you know, about how we feel about when we age and that we can still look fabulous and dress what makes you feel good. And so I am wanting to show you some jean trends that are popular. And if you're over 40, I hope that you will love these and you will think that you could wear them too because there are probably only a few jeans that I wouldn't wear, you know, like ones with lots of rips in them. Those are probably, you know, the only jeans that I wouldn't try on that I just don't feel you know, super comfortable in. I feel that's much more of a very young look. But all of these other jeans and all of these jeans that are trending, ladies, we can we can rock them as well as anybody can. Actually, probably even better because we are more confident about ourselves and we have the wisdom of knowing what looks good. When you're younger, you don't always have that. So I just want to share those with you. I hope you like them. Um, please let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know what your favorite styles are. And if you are interested, I would love to share more fashion videos with you. And again, I promise the home videos are not gone. They will be back. I'm just in a little bit of a lull while I'm figuring everything out and how to transition to my next move. But I promise they will be back and hopefully they will be big and fabulous. So I hope you will stick around and watch these next few seg segments on um, these jeans that I've paired with uh, some tops and boots and let me know what you think. Okay, all I'm so happy to see you all again and I look forward to reading your comments. Thanks again. Okay, stay tuned. So a very popular trend right now are these high-waisted, wide leg, and when I say wide, I do mean wide, leg cuffed jeans. I just bought these yesterday, <laughs> kind of really liking them. I was worried that they were gonna to be too big and overpower me. You know, I guess that's up for debate. Um, I'm 5'3", so these are very wide on the bottom. You know, being high-waisted, they do give you a very long leg, you know, a long silhouette, and I am kind of short-waisted. So I 
I don't know. I'm, I think I like them. I think I like them. Um, I already took the tags off, so it's too late. I can't return them. But I want to know what you all think. Drop me a comment and let me know what you think of these high-waisted, very wide leg cuffed jeans. Um, they're all the rage. They look nice with a fitted top, but I also think that you can get away even if your top is a little on the bigger side and the puffier side, like I've done here. So I'm having a bigger top and a wide leg bottom, and I think it still works. But a fitted top does look nice with it, and I'll have a picture up and show you what that looks. But I also love this look with a belt. And let me show you what that looks like. I just recently purchased this Gucci belt and I really like it. It has a very large buckle, so I think it goes well with the jeans. What do you all think? Because the jeans are big and wide, it is kind of a, a staple piece. And let's see, there we go. So I do like the look with the pants. And I have on another great thing that I do like about these wide-legged uh, pants is that you can wear knee-high boots underneath. So I've got these tall knee-high boots on underneath and no problem. If you've tried to wear knee-high boots, you, you can't with skinny jeans. You can't, the jeans can only be tucked into the boot. You can't put the jean on top of the boot. And even with flared bottoms, if you try to wear these boots underneath, you'll see the line at the knee. So it doesn't look good. But with these, you know, you can get away with it. So you can already you can reuse something that you already have in your closet. So what do you all think about the look? It is interesting for sure, but I do think that I kind of like it. So paired with some fabulous sunglasses and have this Tory Burch bag. I think I'm set to go. I wore this outfit out to dinner last night with a girlfriend and I was really loving it. Really loving it. So this top I believe is from Banana Republic. Um, I've had it for a while. But these jeans are from Rag and Bone. These are Rag and Bone jeans. Um, I do have a less expensive option if you're interested in it, and I will link the less expensive option to a wide leg cuffed jeans in case you are interested. So, let me know what you think. I do have a, another wide leg jean that I am going to show you. Okay. And here is another wide leg pair of jeans. Um, these have a cut hem on the bottom, a little bit of a distressed hem. They're just a little bit wide at the bottom. They are not too wide, but they are very relaxed, as you can see in the back. It's great to see all these relaxed styles coming back, isn't it? Not the ones that are just like hugging your thighs and creating uncomfortable rolls and stuff like that. Um, so these are quite comfortable and you know, they're flattering because they're high waisted and they are a little more tapered at the hip and it just gives you the space in the leg. They're great. I really do like them, but I do need to say that I did have to try on several pairs before I found a wide-legged pair that I liked. So I believe these are from Abercrombie, and I probably tried on 10 pairs before I decided on this exact pair. Um, so I do really like them, and they are a probably a 30-inch inseam. I didn't have to get them altered or anything like that and yeah they're, they're just very comfortable and just give you that extra room 
you know, that make you just feel just a little bit more confident. So I believe that top is a DKNY top. Again, fabulous pair of sunglasses and a bag, and we are all set. Love the pointed shoes with these wide legged pants. Pointed shoes, and again, these are black up to the knee boots. So, what do you think of this look? Another popular type of jean that you will see are denim jeans that are just more dressed up. Some of them have seams going down, the front leg, the extra dark wash in the denim. Um, these, what I particularly liked and drew me to these was the pocket design, which I thought just added a super cute little elegant look the pocket design, really, really love that. Um, I pair, these are flared, and they're a little bit longer on the bottom. They sort of sweep the floor. Um, I didn't have them hemmed or anything, and again, for size reference, I am 5'3", so they do just kind of quite touch the floor. I have about a three inch heel on, and I paired it with this really pretty, uh, blouse which has leather on the cuff and I believe on the collar no maybe not on the collar just on the cuff which just gives it a little bit of an updated look for the evening and I kept it out in the back I mean you could do a full tuck in or you could just keep it out on the back depending on how you're feeling just kind of like love that. It is a slimmer uh, design throughout the waist. It's not one of the boxy ones. So I really like that about it. I believe it's a Nick and Zoe and a nice little glittery bag. Kind of love the look there. I have this Chanel belt that I absolutely love. And yeah, so I'm really kind of loving this look too for the evening. These, they're kind of like a medium wash jean, um, but the darker ones, if you want a more formal jean, definitely darker, darker wash ones are, you know, trending big time for a more formal look and for an elevated jean look. The light washes, you all know, are just the super casual ones. So, yeah. And you can never go wrong with the very classic straight leg jean. These, again, have not been hemmed. I believe these are Ralph Lauren jeans, and it is a Ralph Lauren top, and a little bit more of a relaxed, relaxed fit. Um, these are several years old, and, you know, just super comfortable. You know, they look great with a little booty. These are ankle boots, you know, with a very comfortable, bigger, thicker heel, pointed toe. Pointed toes are definitely my favorite. And this Ralph Lauren top, I just loved the detailing right up here. So that kind of drew me to the whole belt design of the blouse. Very pretty, classic, straight leg, very comfortable jean. Can never go wrong with it. Never ever go wrong with a straight leg. They're so back in fashion. I mean, you just see them everywhere. So what do you all think of the straight leg design? Is that your favorite? Popular jean trend is this particular color, this tonal accru color. It is an off-white and it looks magnificent with these um, like gold-toned colors. And I paired them with a slit boot. It has just like a slit on the side and a Tory Birch bag. I believe this top I 
had it for a while and I got it from Banana Republic. And I believe these pants, which I've also had for a while, which are a wider leg bottom, which is also very popular now. I believe they are from Abercrombie and Fitch. So, what do you think of that? And I love the off the shoulder, just slightly off the shoulder. So, it cinches at the waist very nicely, super comfortable. So, another pair of jeans that I just recently purchased that I'm kind of obsessed with are these jeans. They are a very structured denim. Um, they are made in Japan. I've never bought from this uh, designer before. They are moosey jeans and again, they are very, very thick. They do have more of a relaxed look in the back and they are perfect for petite women. Don't have to have them altered at all. They are a little bit, at least these are, just a little bit tapered at the bottom and they just fit me perfectly. The interesting thing um, about these is that I'm normally a size, I normally buy a 26 jean and I actually sized down two sizes for these jeans depending on your build. If you're a little bit more small waisted, you probably want to size down a little bit. If you're, you know, regular waist and maybe try your regular size, but they are, I feel like they're good for an athletic build body. So um, if you do have a smaller waist, you may get that pucker in the back, which I do have just a little bit um, in my regular 26. I mean, they were just so big and so enormous. So it really does depend on your body type on whether they are gonna look good on you, but just love the wash on them and just the very vintage look of them. Really, really like them. They are on the expensive side. Um, that is the one downside of them, but I don't know, I, I really liked them. Definitely more than I normally would spend on a pair of jeans, but I really like them. And I paired it with this really pretty rose color page blouse. And again, you can tuck it in or out, just leave the back out a little bit, or if you wanna tuck it all the way in. I do find that these do come very low cut on me. So do have to be a little bit careful, maybe you know, put like a little pin or something there because if you are of more petite frame, they are rather low cut. But a regular build, I think they would be perfect. Just love the, the detailing on the sleeve. And pair them with um, black booties. Little sparkly, little sparkly pointed toe stiletto black booties. And Tory Burch handbag. Love that. And check these out. I am kind of obsessed with these new glasses that I just got. So, what do you all think of the looks? drop me a line in the comments below. Please let me know. Some of the styles are old, so if you're interested, I won't be able to link everything um, because you know some of the things I just pulled out of my closet, but I will try to link as many as I can. Let me know what you think. Are you interested in seeing more styling videos, more fashion videos? I would love to know your thoughts. Okay. I will see you all next time. Bye.